Hey what is going on you guys, it's Epic here and with all hope seemingly being lost on a Dragon Keep scaling patch for the players, the modding community has taken it into their own hands and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the TVHM scaling mod for PC users only if you have the SDK installed. If you are unfamiliar with what the SDK is and how to install it, I will leave a link to my guide in the description showing you how to get it up and running. Do note that it is required in in order to make the scaling mod work and with that being said let's get right into how to install it. Firstly navigate to the link in the description where you'll be brought to the download page. Now while github isn't always the most user friendly page in terms of directing you to the download the button can be found on the right side of the page here right next to the bin button so you just click download and it's going to download a zip folder now when opening up that zip file inside of it will be a folder called scaled tvhm and what we're going to do with this is just drag and drop it into our mods folder if you're coming from my sdk guide you'll probably already be on this page but if you are not, I will give you guys another reminder of the directory. For Steam users, the typical installation directory will be on the drive you specified in Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Poor Poor, Binaries, Win32, Mods. Now, if you play on Epic, this is going to be a lot more confusing as people are reporting numerous different installation directories, but I'm going to go with the one that I know of, and I'm pretty sure the one I showed in my SDK guide actually was not what most people have. But assuming that you have installed on Epic, most players are reporting that the directory for their game is on the drive they chose to install it on, and then in the Epic Games directory, and it's called TTAODK One Shot Adventure, and then Willow Game, Binaries, Win32, and Mods. Now, if you're on Epic and what I just said is incorrect, please leave a comment trying to help us out on this. This is something which I'm still actively trying to get to the bottom of. As you may remember in my SDK video, I had my directory in the Steam library folder for some reason. So if you happen to have a concrete location for Epic Games users, please let me know in a comment. Now, assuming that the mod is in your mod folder, the last thing you just have to do is simply start up the game. And assuming everything is installed as I showed in the SDK video and in this video, your mod should be working. The way to test this is very easy. Simply go to the mods menu on your main menu and within there you should see a mod called TVHM Scaler. It should probably be disabled by default. Just go ahead and enable it and you are ready to go. The TVHM Scaler is an absolutely fantastic mod and it's made by a modder named Juso, somebody who has put in a lot of work for this community to make this happen. Although said in my streams that this is a fix which only took 10 minutes. So uh, yeah. The mod will scale everything from side missions, main missions, raid bosses and unique enemy spawns all the way up to your level. The dragons in my game scaled all the way up to level 38 which made them a real challenge and as you can see on screen here I've got some comparisons for you. So firstly Mr. Bony Pants guy is level 20 in my standard game without the mod and then if I go and turn on the TVHM scaler mod Mr. Bony Pants guy goes up to a very very nice level 35 as he should. Alternatively we have Argok the Butcher here and as you can see he is also very 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 under leveled in comparison to me and then if we turn on the tvhm scalar mod that completely changes all of this is done through one simple mod and while it might take you five to ten minutes to install if you are new to mods i can definitely tell you that it is extremely worth doing now again just to clarify if you are on console this is not something you're going to be able to do you will have to await a patch from 2k or stray kite or whoever is going to be in charge of that should it happen although i would not get your hopes up it does not seem like a patch is on its way for dragon keep and I I want to spend a few seconds here at the end of the video just talking about this because I don't want to go on a big run in a, like a little review video talking about the scaling issues so I'm just going to be completely transparent and say shame on you if you are 2k or the developers in charge of this shame on you for not testing this properly and also not delivering a fix to the players I know that this game was released for a certain reason 
but that reason does not justify the fact that people's money is on the line here. You guys may remember that I made it very clear on my streams I did not receive this product for free from 2k. I paid for it with my own money so that if you guys got burned so did I and I did get burned and that's really really frustrating because I love this company and I really wish they wouldn't do stuff like this but they have lo and behold here we are and it's very upsetting. Although, as you guys know, I am absolutely loving the standalone. It is a ton of fun, and I'd highly recommend that you jump in, especially with this scaling mod active. With that being said, you guys, it's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and all the support on the channel as of late. I really appreciate it. Big thank you to everybody who's been using code NNG at G Fuel. Really, really means a lot to me. Remember, we are 30% off until the 22nd of November if you want to go and try it out. But with that being said, I will see you all in the next one.